Oh, wait, time just went so fast. Two minutes went by really fast. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome to my page, Tammy Loves Vintage. And I will also be shared over in the um, virtual home marketplace. Um, Terry Burton has an event going on today that the creators are running 45 minute um, increments and we're selling, auctioning off our item at the end uh, during the last five minutes of the uh, show. So anyway, thank you, Terry, for having me in the um, virtual home decor marketplace. And um, it's a group, you guys should go look it up. Actually, I tried to copy the link to it. Um, hey, yep, there it is. So you can find the link in the comments from me and Terry will probably pop on when she gets a chance and do um, probably post a link, I'm guessing. But if not, I posted it. So look for Tammy Loves Vintage and there's a link there. And um, what I'm, so what we're supposed to do is take a, a, something vintage and decorate it or make it over for um, for auction. So I had this really cute set of drawers that I've been wanting to make over and it looked like this this morning and I decided, first I was going to just put my paper over it here and there and then I decided I think it would look better painted. So I just did two coats of chalk paint this is a country chic paint called um, Cheesecake, and I use it a lot. Um, so, oh, <laughs> hi, Randy. Hi, you guys. Alma and um, Randy, she's adorable. Uh, she's actually getting a bath right now. Maybe Summer will bring her in and say hello. Um, hi, Sue and Norma. Thank you guys for being here. Um, hi, Sandra and Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Oh, how are you? You guys, I've missed you all so much. And Pam, hi, you guys. Thanks for jumping in. There's Marilyn. It's done by me. Hi. Hi, Terry. Okay, here we are. We are ready. We're in the group. There's Terry Burton. And again, her um, group is called the Virtual Home Marketplace. And it's a group that you can go ask to join for free. And you will see, I think they're having sales like, uh, like all weekend. So Terry can um, um, yeah, I think they are, but we're today, I think is just doing our 45 minute segment and selling what we're making. So anyway, I love doing these drawers and I think they're really cute. I'm going to decorate them up and, um, give you a little extra and then, um, show you how I'm going to do it. So I thought I would do the two coats just on one side, just so that you guys can see, I really did do two coats and I really just did it a few minutes ago, but I'm glad, no, no, I didn't. I did it while Lundy was on actually. And I'm glad that I did because her whole 45 seg minute segment, I was painting these drawers. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I took the time to do that because I wouldn't have got much decorating done. Of course, I didn't dry them down or anything. But with you guys here, I can, I'll just dry. I hate doing that, but um, how do you, I don't know. I didn't want to have it, you guys be like, oh, it's all done. So I wanted to do a little bit with you. I will paint the back um, and it's got a little mirror. I think it's actually like a piece of doll furniture, um, like for doll babies. Um, oh, I need to drop my camera down. I'll do that just in a second. Um, but I need to get a second coat on here just on this one side. Then we're going to decorate this up and make it really cute. We're going to use some lace, um, some old book paper, uh, a little bit of greenery, um, some buttons, old clock face. Like I really want to do it up cool so and unique, of course. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, I can't hear. I can't hear if she's still bathing her or not, but uh, maybe she'll pop her in to meet you guys. Hi, Christy. The girls in my group have met her. Um, I have a little crafting group. Um, called Tammy's Making on Facebook. You can find it in, on my website if you're interested. Um, we've been in there since 2019 and a lot of the girls have been there since the first day I opened it. And um, it's a fun little group. Everyone has their little groups, right? Now it is it is $15 a, a month a day. <laughs> $15 a month. <laughs> um, but uh, that's always available to you guys. And that's where, when I'm not live here, that's, I do at least make sure I go there. Um, so I'm not one of these girls that go live every day. Um, I kind of just go live when I have something that, oh, I think they might like this or that, you know? 
and um, we recently we were going to downsize and move to a smaller home. And as most of my followers know, they've seen the progress of the little house. And then now my daughter has moved home with her baby, her family, her husband, the dogs. And they're going to live there for a few months, up to a year. So I've been bringing everything home. <laughs> Not everything, but I would say more than two thirds. Uh, and um, I've set up my craft room here at my home in my office. And I think it's going to be nice. This is actually, uh, well, there's my mom. I thought you were in Amish country today. Hi, Darla. Hey, Sharon. Um, I thought that, um, yeah, I thought mom was out running around today. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, so I've got my craft room set up. And this is actually the first video I've done in my new crafting space. So I've got stuff laying all around me because I'm afraid I won't be able to find something with you guys watching. That would be awful. So, okay, that should be good enough. Let me get my camera lowered here. Um, I don't know. I just didn't want you to feel like you missed out on like, all, the, all that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's hard to know the right thing to do, right? So, um, I, ha I hope you guys are in this group, this um, virtual home marketplace. Um, Terry's done a really nice job of getting um, people that love um, home decor and vintage and all of that. And... Um, I think that, um, it's a place I know my followers would really like to be, um, if you're not in there already, it's a nice group. So, okay. I did cut some paper out, just threw it in the bottom of these drawers, but I put it in, I put it in backwards. You turn it around. So I got that done and then I started cutting little pieces of paper to put on the sides of the drawers because two of the drawers are going to be opened a little bit. Um, just a little bit. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Nice of you guys to join me here today. It's a hot day in Ohio. We are located in Ohio and it's kind of warm here. So I have to think, let's see, I got on at 4.15. I didn't think about this part of my segment, but I will do my live then. Uh, let's see, I'll do my video or my sale like five minutes. She said five minutes, so I'll do it. I do, just for a while, Sharon. They're thinking they're gonna move away and go to Charlotte. So we won't have them for long, but just for a while, they put their house on the market and it sold right away, like within a week. So, and the realtor didn't think it would sell. So we were all very shocked and, you know, like, oh my gosh, now what? <laughs> so, yeah, so we're all kind of still getting over that. So I cut some pieces earlier to size and I just put a little bit of paper on the sides. I put a paper inside and we're just getting started here, you guys. So let's just, let's just give me, give me a minute here to make it wonderful for you. Um, I've got to cut these all down. Let's see, I didn't cut any more, did I? No. So let me cut some more here. I measured the size so I didn't have to mess with that with you guys. Um, hopefully these are straight enough. Gosh, I'm, a, I'm almost a little nervous -y. <laughs> It's been a while since I've been on here. I'm surprised you guys even remember me. I'm, I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I have almost 100 people. That's exciting to me. Super exciting. Thank you, Terry, for having me. I've been trying to get back in the groove. And now that I've got this room set up, I think I'm going to be good to go. I opened up, I brought over all of my fall decor and I started opening that up today and got a little, got a little excited when I saw all of my pumpkins and things that we've made in the past. Um, oh, you're fine, Bridget. Um, oh yes, it is the, um, uh, the virtual home decor marketplace. Terry Burton is, runs the group. Oh, you, oh, thank you. Well, hello. Hello, that honey, that honey, oh, let me see what, yes, that honey feel. Now see, I've got these glasses because he said I could read arm's length. You guys are an arm's length and I, I still, I gotta have like my bifocal part. That's awful. I was telling the girls in my group after my um, eye doctor appointment, he said I've got slow growing cataracts starting. That's great news. And, <laughs> Um, he said I had a wrinkle in my eye. Have you ever heard of that? The back of my eye has a wrinkle. Now, leave it to me to get something weird like that. 
Um, but he says that's why you can't see. My right eye is terrible, and that's the eye that has this wrinkle in it. <laughs> I've never heard of anybody, whoops, having a wrinkle. Have you guys ever heard of a wrinkle? I, uh, no, I brought everything from the basement pretty much home um, because Summer's moving in there with her family for a while, just a, just a few months, but I thought it's going to be winter time and I, I'll be watching Millie three days a week. I'm still painting, but we'll be watching Millie three days a week here. And um, so I thought while she's napping, maybe I could go live. Um, so I've kind of been getting her used to having the TV on and hearing noise, you know, when I'm here. Oh, oh, what is that? Thank you, Terry. That's so sweet of you. Thank you for the stars. Wow, I haven't had stars in a year probably. That's so kind. Thank you so much. Um, you've never heard of a wrinkle. Well, me either. And I thought, how could that be? And he says, well, just like your skin dries up, your eyes can dry up too. <laughs> Great. So, of course, I'm pouring eye drops, <laughs> moisture kind of eye drops in my eye and try to unwrinkle it. But he said you can't. <laughs> he said you can't unwrinkle it. So, <laughs> every morning I'm like dripping eye drops in my eyes. Boy, have you ever tried to put eye drops in your eyes in the bathroom with the bright lights <laughs> glaring at you? Like, dang, man. This getting old stuff is just for the birds. It's just absolutely for the birds. And my mother, instead of, you know, oh, honey, it'll be okay. You'll be fine. Uh -uh. She says, oh, no, it gets worse. That's what she says. <laughs> That's what she says. So, great. Great, great, great. All right, so I'm just adding little pieces of paper to the sides of the drawers, making sure they're not upside down. I'll probably put a coat over top of them when I'm all done, you guys, just to seal it in nice for you, for whoever gets this. But for now, um, I'm just, you know, kind of slapping it on here. And then I'd like to do the sides as well as just some pieces in the front. So I wanna watch my time. Make sure I'm okay, which I seem to be fine. I don't like it to be about the time, but at the same time, um, I don't want it to be, uh, yeah, and she's right. <laughs> Great, yeah, that's what she says. It just gets worse. She says, oh yeah, I remember when that used to bother me. Now, now other things. The good thing is I have several girlfriends that are my same age. So um, we all, oh, thank you, Cindy. How have you been, honey? I haven't seen you in so long on here. Not your fault. I haven't been here. Not a whole lot. Okay, yeah, I need to put a, a top on these and squeeze them down. I'll make sure it's nice for whoever gets this, but um, I kind of want to, you know, keep it going here. Um, so now I need to run a page down the side. Um, I should have, oh, I should have laid some things out here. I have, you know, that follow, you that follow me knows I have this trusty, um, handful of pages here that I like to, um, work with. I just keep old pages in a bag, so they're kind of handy when I need them. Um, uh, so I just want to pick the right thing. I don't want to just pull out any old thing. Um. Uh, I don't love that. Let's see here. Here we go. Oh, let's use these. These are more writing. They have a little bit more happening. Um, so let's see. It's detective stories, it says. Um, do I love that? Okay, so instead of covering the whole side and making it, like, perfect, I'm going to cut off the detective stories. And I'm just going to rip all of the edges so that they are tattered and uneven. I don't want any straight lines. And then I think I'm going to put this on at just a bit of an angle. So I need to tear it just a little bit more over here. And yes. Okay. Let's go with that. So for the side, I know you couldn't see that, but I'm going to show you here in just a jiffy. Um, for, let me put it on here. Okay. So I'm going to just spread my Mod Podge on my paper. And again, I'll cover this whole thing when I'm done, but for now, I just wanna get the paper on there. Um, and so, here we go. I, oh, I didn't put you down. Maybe I did, but not enough. Okay, so, 
let's just angle it just a bit here like that and I just want to make sure that I can get a little bit of it wrapped yeah wrapped around right here I kind of like seeing that so can you see me oh no you can't see me there you, now you can see me remember I'm rusty <laughs> I'm a little rusty okay And again, I need to put a little bit more on here, but I will, I promise I will take care of that later. Um, I might have bit off more than I could chew with this big thing as it is. But I wanted something really awesome for you guys to bid on when I get it all, when I get it done enough anyway. So, okay, so there we go. Just using, I'm using Elmer's glue and water, you guys. I always mix it together. <laughs> Elmer's glue and water. Um, no other reason than I did a big project a while ago. I don't even remember what the project was, but I bought like a gallon jug of glue and I didn't use half of it. I didn't know how much I'd need. And so I've had a ton of Elmer's glue, so I'm just using it up. So that's the only reason. It's not that it's more economical or anything like that. I just, and I don't like those lines. Okay, so I just am using it, um, you know, because I want to get rid of it. Uh, and it's it's about half and half. And if you mix it and you're like, oh, it's too runny, add a little more glue, um, it works great. So I can't tell you like what the shine is. It's just whatever glue would dry as. So it's a little um, kind of maybe like wall paint, like an eggshell finish, kind of like that, I suppose. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I keep forgetting you guys have to see too. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to just do it, do the top as I go, which I hate to because it'll be wet, but I think that'll help me hold it down. There we go. All right, so there's that. And then, and I'll make sure there's a nice even coat here. Okay, and then what I want to do is just lay on, um, like here, I have a little, it looks like a, a, some of a recipe. Yeah, it's an old recipe. Let's get, which is kind of cool for, you know, like if they put this cabinet in the kitchen, let's say. So I'm going to rip this down and I'm just going to put a little patch here of a recipe, just sticking it there wherever it wants to go. And I'm already wet underneath. So let me just get it wet on the top. And I don't, whenever you're messing with ink like that, you don't want to use a whole lot of glue for fear your ink will run. Okay, so there's that. And I do I do know I'm backwards. Um, I wasn't planning on you guys reading anything really. Uh, okay, so then let's go to this other side and let me get this down here. Okay. All right, so we got that down. Let me take another little snippet off of this. It's a handwritten recipe. It's really old. It's no special to me's recipe. I just, I don't know, I just thought it was interesting. So, okay, so this one, this side, we did it up high. So this side, I think I'm gonna do it a little lower. That on there there oh I love it okay now in keeping with that sort of a theme I think we need to do that on one of these drawer fronts that same um, let's see if we can find a hunk of this recipe again always I always tear my edges that's one of the little pet peeves of mine when I see um, craft projects you know like at a little um, thrift store or something like that when you see the edges of the book pages that's just my thing I just don't I, I like to see it all tattered and torn and someone to take the time to get rid of the white edges of the book page but some people love that so here's the thing it, it's your project you do it how you like it and you'll be happy with it I just it's just it's just my little thing so like here what I'm saying is see how this is just look got white edges all around I just pull that off so let me show you the difference so in your project 
you would have a more interesting edge as opposed to a straight line. Now, if you're going to like use the edge of it, then I just cut right along the words. So then I don't have any white edge. I, I cut right here. And so you can have a straight line. Like if I wanted to cover this perfectly, I could use that straight line and, and lay it on there. I'm not saying I don't do a straight line. I do, but um, hopefully that makes sense. And I'll seal all of these drawers in later. So there's that one. And then I'm not gonna put something on all, I don't, know, I don't know that I want this on everything, everywhere. Maybe I'll just put another piece, let me see here. Okay, so I did it up high over there. So I'm gonna just put it on the edge over here and wrap it around a little bit. Okay, so let's do that. Shove it right in here close to the handle, wrapping it around. Summer? Summer? Yes. Can you bring Millie in for my friends that have been wanting to meet her? Just for a quickie? Yes. A quick hello? I can't take long because I'm, I'm timed and it's about a sale, but... Um, I've been talking about Millie now <laughs> since January, right? So these girls kind of would like to meet her, I'm sure. And I don't hear her crying. Here's the baby. Yuppie. Hi. Hi, honey pumpkin. Look. Oh, oh. Hey, now. <laughs> Here she is. Here's our busy bee, just fresh out of the back. You smell so good. Can't look up here. Look, look, Millie. Hi. Hi. Well, this is Millie. It's nice to meet you, friends, right? <laughs> and you have to see her thighs. Look at these thighs. You're a little chunky butt. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. There you go. That's our little Millie girl. Um, so I'm glad you got to see her for a minute. When, when um, things settle down here and I start babysitting, Officially, I'll I'll show you to her because I'll probably have her laying here in a little thing beside. Oh, thank you guys! Thanks for the hearts. Thank you. I'm glad I'm glad you got to meet her. Now I'm gonna lay all this back down here. So um, again, this what I'm on here today for is really because Terry Burton invited me into her event from the um, virtual market, uh, virtual home decor marketplace, and so. I'm one of the um, presenters and I'll be selling this little project when I'm all done. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. I didn't hear it fussing, so I thought this might be a good time to come and say hello. All right, so let's get rid of that. I'm gonna do a different sort of word, a different sort of font. I like to mix fonts a little bit. Um, so I don't mind using different pages um, out of different books. I don't mind mixing sheet music with old book pages. I'm not catching all the comments. I see you commenting, you guys, but I need to keep going so I don't run out of time because I really want to, I really want to jazz this up for you. Um, so I will sit when we're all done and um, I've got the baby back in my lap. I'll sit and go through all of your comments and um, answer any questions or thoughts or just give you a quick hello. Um, for sure, I will, I promise. Uh, I've been trying to watch everybody today. And so I'm just kind of haphazardly sticking some pieces on here and then I'm going to press them down with a little bit more of my glue um, water mixture. Or you could use your Mod Podge or there's all sorts of mediums, you guys. There, you don't have to use this because, well, Tammy said she used that. No, you use what, yes, do you. Whatever you use, whatever you like. I just, like I said, I had that big bucket full of, <laughs> stop and I wanted to use it up so okay so here's where oh gosh I have I'm not, I'm not doing very good here's where we are there you go and so the sides are done okay I just have a little bit of something on each of the sides and then I have a few patches here and there now I feel like I need a little bit more let's see if I can't find a sheet music in here that here here's one right here let's just use a piece of music paper um, I have paper packets on my website too. If you guys um, 
like you want to do something with old book pages and stuff. And I have like a mix, kind of like this little bag. Um, um, I forget how many ounces it is. It's, it says in the description there. But, and there's a little bit of lace and there's some old tickets and there's all kinds of stuff in it. But um, if you need any, uh, it's just all of my social media and everything is TammyLovesVintage.com or TammyLovesVintage on TikTok or, you know, Pinterest or YouTube. It's all Tammy Loves Vintage everywhere. So you should be able to find me pretty easily, I'd say. Okay, let's put a little bit of music there in the middle and then let's jazz this thing up and then we'll see how much time we have left. I am done at five o'clock because I started at 4.15. So I'm done at five, my time. I'm Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are like, what? <laughs> I'm Eastern, Eastern Time. So, um, yeah. Get it, get it right. Okay, so let's put that little piece right there. Okay, so now we have that. Now what I'd like to do is put a piece across the top but I'm not sure, oh, what if I just did the music and floated it? Let's do that. Let's do that rather than trying to get it precisely covered. Um, where is my glasses? Here they are. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys are writing big comments. It's hard to read them all. <laughs> Especially with, for a girl with wrinkly eyeballs, right? <laughs> Have you ever? Okay, here we go. Uh, and when I'm finished, if you guys know Deb from Art and Grace, she's on next after me. So if you're in the group, you'll be able to catch Deb if you don't follow her um, page. And if you don't, you should. Um, all these, everybody that's been on today has been really good. And everybody's like artsy, like artist artsy, like wow. <laughs> and then there's me gluing stuff. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I, yeah, I wish I could paint like those girls. That scarecrow Terry did, and the just all, all of them. Um, it's just been fabulous. So, okay, which side do I want? Um, hear thy gentle voice again, and greet thy winning smile. Oh, that's sweet. Let's do that side. Is there two pages here? No. It feels thick, is it? Hang on. I feel like there's two pages. It's really thick, but I guess not. I don't know. It's just really thick. Okay, so let's get that on the top. I'm gonna try and center it here. Get my brush again. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Well, the hardest part for you guys will be finding these cabinets. A lot of times they're, you know, like if you can find them for $40 as a steal, um, you're gonna usually pay more um, for all the shelves. I've done a few shelves for you guys when I can find them. A little affordable but you hate to spend a hundred dollars on something and then um, you know and then uh, do this to it but um, if you can get it more affordable and a lot of times you can find yucky ones that need something in this case this one was pretty nice um, this is a little bit loose I'm gonna have my husband put a couple brad nails in it when he gets home he's golfing today so when he gets home I'm gonna have him jazz that up for me just a bit. So let's lay this back here. Make sure it's nice and tight for you. And um, I want to put a strip of lace and I pulled a little strip here. Um, I thought it might be really cute to put just a little strip of old handmade lace here. So we're gonna do that. And hopefully, yeah, my hot glue gun's hot. I didn't check it. You know, since this is a whole new setup for me, <laughs> we're, we're um, running a little blind, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to put some hot glue. Can you all see that? Okay, put a little hot glue here. I'll just go a little bit of the way. Get to the end. There we go. Now you can use you know, whatever your glue of choice is. We're kind of like in tacky glue here a lot. Um, my friend Julie and I have uh, been using that, but hot glue is more instant. Um, for something like this, it's fine. Okay. Okay, so there, we added a little piece of lace. Now I want to get in 
I'm gonna take this burlap. Oh, I hate to use these dip scissors. It's got a little bit of wire in it. I hate that. Oh gosh, done. Wasn't too painful. So just because of the texture and I like all the fringy fringe and stuff of it, and I don't wanna fringe it too much, but a little bit. Now let me see how I feel about this. Like maybe, yeah, like maybe right there. Just something to kind of throw your eye like, wait, what's, what's that? Wait a minute. Um, make you kind of curious about it. Okay. All right, and then I laid out a little clock face that I'm thinking I want to put in the middle of that. And maybe let's add some old buttons. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to keep it upright. And then let's see, I have, um, let's see here. Here, I hope this is easier than that great big thing. Um, let's pour out some buttons and see if I can't find some. Here's one. I like them when they have the little strings in them. Like this one has a string in the holes. Do you see that? As opposed to like this one without. See the difference? Like the string is just a little bit, just another textured element. And so since this one's a little bit small, I'm going to put a bigger one here and overlap the smaller one. Oh, I don't like that. It's almost too new looking. Let's, oh here, this one's better. This one's better and it's got a great string in it. It's a mother of pearl. So let's do that one and let's lay that down right here. Yeah, that's a great size. That's great. Okay, and then I'm gonna angle this one just a little bit on the side of the big one, okay? So now we have, whoops, I stuck my finger in the Mod Podge. So now we have a little cluster of buttons. We have a little bit of lace on the bottom. And then I have this um, pin that I thought maybe here or maybe here is better. Maybe here for a little bit of bling, just a little bit. I'm not always a big, big blinger, but I do like, I do, well, I can't say that because I, I, I kind of have blingy things. Oops, I'm going to cut way back here so I don't hurt the tip of my scissors okay let me mess this up just a little bit and yeah I think I'm gonna put it here so let's get that in can you see yeah you can still you're with me okay and then let's put this on now since I'm putting it on fabric I'm okay to use hot glue um, the e6000 isn't gonna grab great to the fabric the metal is it would grab better to e6000 not as well to the glue so um, it could it could pop off in shipping. I doubt it, but it could. So let's just let's just put that out there. Um, you might have to re glue it. I don't think it will. I think it will be fine. But just in case. So there's that adorable. Okay. So then I kind of just need to make sure that I have like I kind of wanted to scuff it up a little bit, but I'm still a little bit wet. So, oops, and this is lifting. This little piece of paper right here is coming up. Let's get you back down. Did I not put enough on you? Okay. All right. So, you guys, don't forget to join um, Terry's group. Um, I put the link in the comments to make it really easy. If you if you look in the comments, just scroll even, well, not while you're here because it will knock you out of here, but um, you'll be able to just click on that and go. Um over to the virtual home marketplace and then they're gonna have sales this weekend so I don't know who's selling I didn't I'm not in that part of it but I'm sure it will be great and there's it's kind of fun watching these vintage sales I have enjoyed having them actually I'm set up for one I'm just not I just I don't know when the exact time will be for it but I do have some stuff set and ready to go um, okay, so let's do a little scuffing. I have this little sander, and I know things are a little bit wet, but just a little bit of it. And let's see if I'm pulling anything, because the wood underneath wasn't super dark. Yeah, it's okay, but um, it's all right. But I think I want to run some wax on it. I was worried about, not worried, but I was thinking, was thoughtful about it. I don't know what I was I was aware that, that, that's what I should say, I was aware that it might not be that much of a punch because it's so um, light of a wood underneath. So being prepared for that, again, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm kind of 
double dipping things. I have wet on wet on wet on wet, so I'm not able to get it perfect, perfect, perfect for you right this second, but I will. Um, I, have a, I have a rag here. So let's just put a little bit of wear and tear on this thing. Just a little bit. Okay, not gonna go crazy. I did not um, do the clear wax first, so it's really gonna grab. However, I did Mod Podge everything, so. Um, like how I talk to my projects. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we make the dolls, I'm always like, oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> or like the Santas at Christmas time. I know. It's a, it's a sickness I have. I talk to myself all the time, actually. <laughs> well, nobody's around. Well, it's always me by myself, you know? I don't have anybody else to talk to. <laughs> Except for Tuesday nights, my friend Julie comes over. I get to talk to Julie on Tuesdays, so <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we have craft nights on Tuesday nights, so a lot of times we'll go in our group on Tuesday nights and we'll show them what we're doing, or I'll go on on Wednesday night and show and make whatever we made. Cause she's a vintage lover too. She doesn't have a page or anything, but she loves everything that I love, and she enjoys the group too. So it's just a fun thing. So. In case I forget to say again, thank you, Terry, for having me as part of your event today. Um, it's been nice to be back, for sure. It's nice of you to have remembered me, um, for sure. So, okay. Now, I'll continue to tweak this out, too, when we're finished, because I want it to be, you know, nice, nice. But I, I kind of just wanted to show you guys what I would do. Just I'm gently grunging right now, and then I'll, if I feel like I need to do a little more, I will. And then I need to do some up here on the top. I don't, I don't want it super grungy because I'm picturing this like in the kitchen on the counter um, with like remote control um, or your or batteries or whatever in it that you might want to put. That's where I put mine is on the kitchen counter. Um, so, okay, so there we are. Now what I want to do is take some of this... Um, fern that you get at Hobby Lobby and I pulled a little bit off and I'm thinking I'm thinking one whole thing is a little too much but let's just try it here and I want to see what type so my buttons are over here so let's just go here and we're gonna leave the drawer open a little bit which is why I put the pages on the sides of the drawers so yeah I think that's a little bit too much so I'm gonna cut this in half okay because it's just i just want a little snip like that just a little spurt of it hanging out and then another little spurt over here ish somewhere and i can't see i'm trying to use this as my mirror to see what we have going on um i also pulled a little piece of lace here just a little snippet of lace let me clean up this end oh i've got um, it's not quite five minutes so i've got let's see what time is it 53 so I, in two minutes i'm gonna put this up for auction um can, oh we're already up for auction okay i thought you said the last five minutes okay we're already auctioning and we are at 55 dollars so okay great you guys are on it you don't want to miss the best part right um okay so, and then also just so you know, they just announced that shipping is additional. So I'll have to get your address if you're not already one of my followers and I'll get your address and ship it. Oh, that's so cute. Look, look how cute. So when I get done, so, so when you get this, first of all, like a little, like I pulled this, like a little something on top, you can use it as a decorating, um, you know, for your treasures, you can do something like that with it. Um, and I just added in those couple little things in the drawers. Just if you don't like them, pull them out, just pitch them, uh, or put them in something else. But I will, I promise finish this, you know, the sides and I'll finish it all out. I'm going to paint the back and Mod Podge over that. I'm going to have my husband secure this a little bit more. I put a little glue, but I'm not real happy with it. And, um, and it's even got the little old mirror, you guys, from the doll. Um, that's what makes me think it's a doll, uh, drawer of dolls. But so anyway, we've covered the sides of the drawers, the sides of the cabinet, 
These are really hard to find. So whoever wins this is going to be a lucky girl um, for sure. So I see $75 with Kim and we still have six minutes. So we're good. Um, so Kim, I need to write, I need to write that down. Um, I saw someone else I was watching. I, um, I forgot to write her girl down. So, although I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Terry's watching it. And then Deb um, at Art and Grace is up next if you guys are in the group. So thank you guys for watching me, though. It's so nice to have you here. So I need to take a quick peek at where I'm at. Oh, I didn't um, I didn't Mod Podge this part yet. I need to do that. So I need to make sure that the whole thing is Mod Podged out. I'm um, not sure I'm liking this setup super great, but we'll see. It might just be me. I might, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, thank you guys. Kim is high at $75. Well, that's awesome. And you know what, Kim? That's probably, you know, about right when you're out shopping. If you watch for these things, that's that's not an uncommon price to find. Oh, Shayla. Good girl. You've always wanted one of my drawers, haven't you? Well, look at her jumping in there at 100 Bless her heart. Glad you saw me on here today. I didn't know you would see me. Thank you, Bridget. Thank you. Thank you, Shayla. So I'll have to pull these things out. But um, anyway, I'll make sure that like all of these edges, um, Kim is high at 125. Okay, Kim Fogel. Gotcha. Gotcha, Kim. And um, Kim, when we're finished, if, if you end up being the high or if you would just private message me um, and give me your information. I need like your mailing address. But yes, we still have four minutes. So, okay, let me keep going then. <laughs> let me keep going. But I do love the idea that you have the second ledge up here that you can decorate as well. So don't forget that. And like if you have like a handkerchief from your grandmother or something, stuff it in there and just let the little, you know, the little corner of it show. Let's see, I have... I have handkerchiefs right here. I have a little stack of them. Um, let's pretend that, you know, like this one was grandma's. <laughs> let's just say. Or a doily or something like that. You can literally stuff like the whole thing in here and just let the corner of it show and then get your fern back in here. Um, you could hang, if you have grandpa's pocket watch, you could hang grandpa's pocket watch off of one of the knobs um, I don't know that I have Grandpa's pocket watch, but I, I probably have something here. I see. Do I have something? Let me see here if I can find something to hang off of the knob. Hmm. I don't know. Well, here's an old. Here's an old earring. That's not going to be great, but it's something. Let's see if that'll hang off of a knob. That would be cute. Or if you're making the tassels i kind of been thinking about making a tassel but like something just something you can hang off as a little dangle but a cute little tassel or a rosary would be awesome as well what time are we we've got two minutes and we're at 125 on this little cabinet um yeah a rosary would be great i have a whole i have a whole chain full of rosaries here a whole hook i mean full i'm caught on something a piece of lace uh, let's see, I don't know if I have any small enough pieces though. None of these are cut up, but yeah, you could cut up a rosary and hang or put it, put the beads in the drawer. You guys it would be really cute and hang, hang your rosary out the front. If you have um, something special like that, like, I love doing all this kind of stuff. And the fun thing about this is for me, like why I love all this handmade and unusual stuff is when Someone comes to your house and they're like, oh, where did you get that? Well, they can't go to TJ Maxx and make one for themselves. They can't, you know, you can't, this is a one of a kind. And so I kind of like that, that it's, um, <coughs> it's unique. So even though, you know, I'm not an artist, like the girls were really artists, um, I am happy that I get to be creative. So there you go. So I think we've got just about a minute left. So it looks like Kim Fogel is the winner. Um, I should double check and make sure. But you guys, yep, Kim is the, oh wait, 
but what did I see there? Yes, Kim is the winner. Um, oh, yes, uh, let me see. It is the uh, Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. I wrote it down just in case my brain was going too many ways. And up next is Deb at Art and & Grace, and it's Terry Burton's group. And you guys, you even if you just go there now, you can replay and watch all the people that have been there since noon Central Standard Time. Yes, Kim is the winner at 125. Kim, send me your address and your email address for billing. I'll figure shipping and get it boxed up for you. And if we can get the payment taken care of, it'll go out in the morning. So yes, virtual home decor marketplace. There it is. The link is in the comments. I put a live link. If you look for a Tammy Loves Vintage post, you'll find it there. It's five o'clock. I gotta go and I will see you all um oh oh now wait a minute I have to leave that up to um I didn't see Shayla's I still don't see Shayla uh I have to leave that up to Terry to call it I it was five o'clock I was signing out I don't see Shayla uh, ah! <laughs> I don't know what to do um yeah, Shayla, I don't, it's not showing up in my comments. Jackie, I'm not seeing it. I see Cherry, Terry said 30 seconds. I've got to go because I'm running over the next person. Shayla, I'm not seeing your comment. I'm seeing Kim at 125 still. So um, you see Shayla too? See, I don't see her. Um, Terry. Shayla does not come up on my end either. Okay, Kim. Okay, so I have to. Shayla, I'm so sorry. I did not see you. So um, a lot of them are seeing you. I'm not seeing you. I'm sorry. Um, but I've got to go because I'm running into the next person. Um, above 30 seconds. Ah, um, ah. You see Kim? Okay, I've got to call it Kim. Shayla, I'm sorry because I can't physically take a screenshot to show anybody your bid so if there's any question i have to stay um yes i see her at 100 but not 130 me too so i'm so sorry shayla you know i love you and i appreciate you watching me but i've really got to go because i'm i'm two minutes over so i'll see you all later um thank you terry for helping me and congratulations to kim and my apologies to shayla i'm so sorry honey um bye, -bye. thanks for watching